first Lego League is all about the inventors of the future. It's all about innovation. It's making science and technology as fun as exciting as a sporting event. The kids who are involved in this program have a set of challenges that are presented to them with no answer. It'll be like right here and if it sees this wall it'll stop. Like we'll say maybe we'll have it stop at 13 inches when it sees the wall. Each of the teams they come together with a volunteer coach and they work on a variety of missions using Lego Mindstorms technology. And a lot of people that I say Legos to think that the kids are building models. No, they're actually building real functional autonomous robots that are controlled by a computer program, not by a joystick, not like a video game controller. This is invaluable stuff. They're learning not only teamwork skills, they're learning how to solve problems in an engineering setting. This year we have 56 teams. I wouldn't doubt we have 150 teams next year and 500 teams a few years from now. We believe that innovation starts as young as our middle schoolers. It's really fun after, after you've completed it because then you, like, you've done it. So it's, yeah. This is a defining experience for them that we think it's so important to get them in junior high because it will carry through their high school years where they're so influenced by peers. At this age, there's still parent input, there's the peers that they're working with teams on, really help sustain them to go that academic route in high school and, and get a university education. And engaging them at a point in their life when they're making very important decisions about their future, we hope that that involves the University of Utah. All right, time's up. Nice job, everybody. Come ahead for the Lego Maniacs.